Good evening. Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. The first, like, preface chapter, really, before chapter one, is about the Rosetta mystery. I don't find it a mystery. They didn't find it a mystery either, but, like, I don't think they're right. They're partially right. But there's some obvious facts in here that, I guess the book's old, you know, when was it written? I don't know, it's been around a while, since the 80s maybe? Mm, 2008, I guess? So, we're talking about the Rosetta people. They came from Italy. They all lived in the same community in Pennsylvania. None of them really had a heart disease, heart attacks, which I think this was the 50s or 60s, and I guess most of America was already having heart problems by the time they were 65, but virtually zero people in this Rosetta Italian community where they had gardens, where they grew fruit, where they cooked their own food. And in this book, it says that the Rosettans were cooking with lard instead of much healthier olive oil. No, 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 no. Lard is 100% healthy. Olive oil is very, very suspect. Might be better than soy oil, but it's very... I don't, I don't use it. I would never use it. Maybe if someone cooked with me, I'd cook something for me, I would eat it. But olive oil, especially heated olive oil, that is not healthy. That will cause heart disease. Pizza in Pennsylvania was bread dough plus sausage, pepperoni, salami, ham, and sometimes eggs. Those are all healthy, heart healthy foods, according to the studies, the facts. In fact, typical Rosetta eating habits, they found that a whopping 41% of their calories came from fat. Oh, right there, that explains to me, and it's animal fat, it's lard mainly that explains to me why they had no heart attacks under the age 65 yeah they ate the sweets the carbs and everything else but they were getting nutritious fat lard it's full of vitamins it is healthy it was even healthier back then when they had their own when the pigs ate a better diet and the, they say in this book that they're eating a worse diet than the rest of America. So this is just like an outlier, an anomaly. And their uh, conclusion was that because they live in three generation homes, they're real family oriented, a real tight community, they're happy, they go to church, they play, they're not stressed out. You know, that was their conclusion as to why they had no heart disease. I'm sure that's part of it, you know, that's good, that's healthy. But you can't turn oil into lard. You can't turn processed food into minimally processed food. It's just, it doesn't work like that. You can't turn a piece of cake into a steak, man. So, I'm sure this is a good book, but that first like chapter that they write to hook you is like, it's not a mystery.